That's that's what this needed. Right. <laughs> King Diamond coming to town. Hey, everybody. Yes! <laughs> Where's he coming to? Uh, the High Life Theater, I think. Okay. As long as it's not Shane. Oh, oh, hell no. Get out of it. It's uh, Full Spectrum Cycling, folks. This is number 266. We're only 400 away from the Devil's Podcast. Oh, uh, yeah. Got to stick we can around. do it. Stick we can around. do it. Yeah, we got Tony. Mm-hmm. Got JK. Mm-hmm. Carol's reading the newspaper. <laughs> I'm Sven, and uh, this is, again, the Full Spectrum Cycling thing we do here. Uh, I haven't seen King Diamond ever, I don't think. I familiar with, but haven't yeah. seen live. So, I think I was at a show, but I had missed them at the show. Gotcha. Oh. They had been in the opener zone. Yeah, there's some overlap to a lot of. Uh, yeah, I know they were metal. on Bill. I just didn't get to see with my eyes. Did, right on. Did I? Uh, All the same. Did I tell you when I was tempted, buying uh, tempted, tempted, tempted. when I was buying Daniel's training wheels the. Person that's holding to me had a sleep shirt on. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. always fun to see that in like, the wild. I'm like, where'd you see him? I'm like Madison to Sylvie. Ah, where'd oh, the training wheels come he's from? Like, oh, Sylvie. Ah, truly. Oh, right on. I went. I stopped over. I there. got excited for a second, then you said Sylvie, which isn't the right. Worst, we we did have a discussion but, about the Sylvie too. Yeah, yeah. But I did the 420 show in Madison for sleep, and it was. Oh yes, it was. It's what I hold. That yeah, the bar is there. I'm and sure. I've seen them a I'm sure times, so. that had to be a good show. Oh yeah. I, they must be doing business over there to truly. I stopped in because uh, Aton needed a clamp for a Magura break or something. and They were busy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they weren't busy when I was in there, but there was like five people in there working. So mm-hmm. they must yeah. be doing some I, stuff. I've been in there where it is you've had to wait for someone. Yeah. So they right on. do some brisk, brisk work on yeah. some things, apparently. Brisk. Brisk, baby. Uh, little change in the weather. Beautiful change in the weather, as far as I'm concerned. I've got the pants on the pants. I can wear long I'm, pants I'm again. I'm dual shirted again. Right on. My work shirt and my alien Andre. Now it's, yeah, now there's the season of not like, okay, what am I wearing? No, no, no. That's too much. That's too little. Da, 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 da. Yeah. You have like two costume changes. Got to have them in your back. bag. I had the, uh, had the lower door open, the upper door open, the shop door open, windows open. It was blowing through there like uh, hurricane in uh, <laughs> yeah, Georgia. It was fantastic, I bet. Coming through. I got yeah. home from work very Ryan. fast tonight on my uh, ape. I was going to say, the wind was at my back. Right here was perfect. I was like, zing. You know, just had, this, had the shirt out like a sail. There you go. Just take me out. If, uh, if our dear listener hasn't heard, uh, Tony was the latest victim of a bicycle theft in our fair city. Mm. Yep. Fill, fill us in a little bit, just uh, in case it ends up in Portland or Seattle. Or I mean, it's it's a it started life as a electric expedition, but then I modified it with surly Moloco bars and bag. I have the bag actually. Um, ergon grips, um, a oh, it's so hard to say. Selly Anatomica Selly ostrich Anatomica saddle ostrich saddle bright yellow you can't miss it it was so beautiful and, and, it, and it felt better than it was beautiful unlike most of these expeditions it currently doesn't have a front rack on it, it. does not have a front rack on it because I broke it um, it has the um, cargo bags strapped to the orbiter kids space um, because. That was a good way to do it. So, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I lost a great toolkit, several great toolkits that were in the side pouch, um, mm. some nice lights, you know. But yeah, it it sucks. Uh, passing, how much did it, passing it, notes? Oh, with doodads. <laughs> um, Watch your head. Um, we're looking at about three thousand bucks. Yeah. You know. it, so uh, it was in a locked garage. It was and, in a locked uh, garage. They actually took the lock too. So they were deficient enough to make certain, I'm guessing, so that there wasn't any fingerprints or something. I don't know. It's, it's, I am absolutely certain that it has to be someone that knows my garage. They have to know it. They've seen me parked the bike there. I only parked it there that night because it was supposed to rain. Otherwise, I have it way more securely locked in my yard. Right and on. unfortunately, both batteries 
um, fully charged too, so they could be 125 miles away <laughs> by Damn now. Shit. Might be time to think about setting that passcode on the old computer. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of work. Oh, I, you can't do it on that one. Or no? if you can, you I don't know to. about it, and that makes me sad because I would have. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you did register on Bike it is, Index. It is on Bike Index, and, and I'll be filing a police report tomorrow. Oh, damn it. Long story. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's it's on the fence now, like you said. is How much is my homeowner's insurance? Is it worth claiming, given that they're going to just get it back in three years? Yeah. Yeah, it's a tough call. Uh, it's definitely a reminder, everybody out there, Bike Index is your huckleberry for registering your bike. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Take a few pictures, get your serial number as, registered. Yeah, as soon as you get a bike, the first thing you should do is pull out your phone and take a fucking picture of the serial number. I'm not sure Boom. if it is and com- a color. If it's completely tied in, but shops that run, um, what was that old point of sale thing we used? Um, yeah. Lights, Lightspeed. Lightspeed. Uh, you I think, can plug I think, that in. I think they have a tie-in to Bike Index, so if you buy at a shop that has... Lightspeed, it can automatically register it at Bike Index. I found it fascinating that after I took care of all that, Bike Index actually offers to, for a fee, promote this stolen bike on the socials. Oh, Oh, okay. So anywhere from, I think, $20 to $80. They'll, like, flood social media. Might Mm -hmm. might be worth the effort. It's not a a bad, because they do the normal registration free. Right. So I was wondering what their their revenue model is. Right. It is exhausting to try to pull that social media barrage. Right. Because I did. You know. I mean, it, granted, it was kind of cathartic because it's like, okay, no, I it's can a, say this again. Drag, and da, 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 yeah. And throw it out there in the world. It's more of a drag because. And things can come back. Daniel da, da, da. would like listen to his classmates talk about their dad's Teslas and then he'd come up with, well, my dad's got a car bike with two batteries. <laughs> and it pretty much is like I think every kid's like they have no idea what that means, so they're like, "Oh, that kid wins." <laughs> yeah. Huh? Well, you're, and technically, I, mean, I do because I don't own a Tesla. Good, good call. Right. <laughs> I mean, so they this is not this is not the first bike that's been stolen in the very near neighborhood. There is, matter of fact, okay. two electric bikes were stolen this weekend. So right. and apparently Seth, my my buddy, saw a kid crash electric on Holton and Locust, like out joyriding it. So that could have been the other one that was stolen. Could have been, yeah. So it's another another reminder, you know, maybe carry a second lock around with you. And if you know some friend's bike has been stolen, just lock that puppy up mm-hmm. if you see it. Make sure that they can't get it back again. Right. Right. The thieves, that is, not the owners. Right. Right. Uh, All right, let's get that behind us because that sucks. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Well, good I luck. have looked at replacements though, and there's a pretty interesting replacement in the show notes. Does WSD? Yeah. For, for, yeah. For, is it Furta Family Bikes? Feral. Yeah, it is. Isn't it hilarious? <laughs> feral. For, for, I, I just kept reading for, that. For, feral. For, for la Lagome electric cargo bike. Look at that thing. Uh, feral. Mid drive. It's kind of like a uh, Yuba sort of looking yeah, thing, maybe. But it's it's mid drive. Belt drive, dual battery. Another mm. bike with a front rack with no struts that go down to the fork. Well, well you can't, dude, because the fork a, turns. It has a suspension fork. So yeah. But oh, the rack doesn't turn. The rack doesn't turn. I was going to message you that, and then my bike got stolen. Well, it's just, a, it's obviously not a good design because right. it broke. Um, Yuba had a really cool one where not only did it have those four mounts, like on the front, but it had uh, an extension that went to to the down tube too, so it really reinforced that rack, and it could hold a decent amount of weight. Kind of feel like Yuba's a little step above the average. They built a name for themselves. They weren't initially; they were a run of the mill bike, especially cargo bike. But they've gone gonzo and done some really nice nice bikes. <laughs> I still remember that video or picture of. Uh... Uh, Shlobowski with his Yuba uh, towing the Schlick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was when the old the bike fed used to be over yeah, on yeah, in was, Silver City down mm-hmm, there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good, it's always a good visual. Yep. But I think sure. of Yuba, that's like. I, I might have taken first. that picture because he, he, he was riding the bike. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure nice. I, I shot that one. <laughs> nice. Nice. But yeah, I, you, you speak Yuba, I see that picture, right? Copy that. 
uh, peek inside my mind. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, so furlough. Uh, it looks pretty interesting. Got a couple of kid seats in the back, this and that. That Wait. would not be the configuration yeah, the, the, I would if you go keep with. Scrolling along, there's some really neat. I weird. Mean, yeah, cool stuff. It's it's a pretty cool bike. It's got. I mean, it's it's it touches some good buttons. Sure. Checks off some good boxes, so to speak. Did you check out that woodpecker? It's a, it's also in the show notes. It's a, a guy hasn't been making bikes very long, but apparently his partner has some disability that she used to ride a trike. Okay. And this is an electric. It it's a really cool looking. It's kind of like a mid long tail with the battery behind the seat. Take a look at that. I, I did see this. It's on, yeah. Th- I, this version of the story was on bikepacking dot com, but uh, it's it, it's. I think it's a one off, but it's a really good looking bike. And yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. A good idea for. Right, you know, yeah. That that's a cool, that's a cool setup. Right on. Cool. Do, 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 do. Anybody do anything for music this weekend? <sighs> oh my uh, god, dude! I, I wanna... ate a lot of food last night. I went to Lake Park, uh, music, musical Mondays. Uh, it was Mokomba, a uh, oh yeah, uh, African band. Uh there were so many people, like so many like cool musical freaking people. It was just killer because I knew Seabar was going to be there a dancing, and so was the Marcus Radio Marcus Doucette. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> Zito rolled up and he's like, "Oh yeah, there's Reggie from and I don't I'm not familiar with him, but he's in a whole shitload of my old boss and <laughs> what uh, uh Cactus Brother Mike Casper Zick." Him. And also I look down and I'm going like, you know, I think that's Brian Ritchie just kind of hanging out there. You knobs. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> totally. So I was like, damn, that and this, that. Oh, and, you know. A veritable who's it was, who of yeah. Milwaukee And the music was great. And the uh, when the band was done, because they do have kind of a hard eight o'clock curfew. Right. I mean, people will like, oh, one more song. Well, appropriately. Yeah. 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 We can't. Not, but they can, but sometimes they just are like, oh, well, you said be done. Okay, we're done kind of thing. But yeah, but the band was just beautiful, just awesome, just thankful and like whatever, just walking by. I'm like, great show. Oh, thank you so much. They're playing three nights in Madison right now. Nice. So I was like, dude, you're going to have a great time. Enjoy, 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 enjoy. So, yeah, that's what I did musically. <laughs> yeah. It was my reward because I went to Dundee. Over the weekend, Illinois. No, what's in? Did, who did you go to Dundee with? Ken Keen? No, no. <laughs> it was just funny. It was like he willed it into my orbit. It was a uh, um, Taylor's birthday get together. They have like a tiki beach. Yeah, bar. I think that's right across the, from the street from where he go, he stays when he's up there. Okay, because we were right where there. The, where the hell's Dundee? Our, By Campbell Sport. Our, yeah, I don't know. Oh. It's way up there. Our and, north ish. Oh, yeah. It's in a kind of yeah. You yeah, you want to talk about oh yeah, you just gonna wander, wander, wander. I'm like, I have no idea where the hell I am. All of a sudden you just spit out on this like little thumb sized well, lake. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's weird. A weird place. It's weird that it, it was it's been mentioned to me uh, probably five dozen times. Yeah, and, and then you, I end up there. Well like, you know when you hang around with Ken. Right. Kind of like double uh, nickels. Kind of like nickels. Kind of like headline news. Kind of, kind of get the oh. story every twenty minutes. Speaking of them having a bar oh. and what have you, right on. Tiki, Tiki S. Kind of, yeah, no, not really. They had like three things and whatever, but they did have three dollars. I'm uh, not even Coors sure. Banquet is it technically open still? I think it was either for sale or being sold, or the actual Tiki Bar might be kind of like fly by nighty right now. Yeah, it was operational. Drink your damn beer, Greg. It seemed like there was like four businesses operating oh, Coast. operating together. Okay. Yeah, he, there, there was, was like some a, story about it. Anyway. There was like water. Oh, excuse me. Goodness gracious. That was um, very, very rich. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so since all this, all all this talking rang. got me going. Burr, burr, burr. Yeah. Tony brought the beer today. Hey, thank you, Tony. Oldie it's, but a favorite as far as I'm concerned. I'm very excited to go visit this. Finally, three sheeps, juicy pale ale, fresh coast. 
from the Sheboygan, it's, Wisconsin. It's, it's the it nice thing about it, it has dream. Citra. I used to read Word Up magazine. Armor. <laughs> Every time I hear Armor it, Rillo? I hear Voodoo. And Mosaic Hops. And it's 4.8. Very sessionable. It's so easily drinkable, and I absolutely love the, the taste of it. You know, it's not as sessionable that they just got back at Amorphic. <laughs> you earned yeah, whip. that, and you it's, your that whip. hits you like a Our, Art, Artemis Orange is back, everybody. It's a double seltzer. It's like a seven and a half. That, that is a beautiful seltzer. Yeah. That's, Molly loves that. It's, it's, really, it's really good with vodka, too. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. almost spit take. Whoa, Damn. Baby. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Wow. That, that was, would be. That was that a was, save. That, that was, was a save. So close. I'm thinking it's a bad idea to add vodka to that. I, I just recall there was a, a vodka time of my life where, and then I went to White Claws, and then by John Kelly's suggestion, you know. Put like, vodka in the White Claw. Yeah. <laughs> It tastes good. You're not going to notice it until you notice it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you need to catch up and not encouraging it anymore in my life or right. advising yeah, I don't others do to do that. I'm too old for that. It shit. actually is a, a effective way to, to catch up. <laughs> Continue continuing my uh, my spam. <laughs> I, maybe it should be like a cartoon in, yeah, in I River feel like West Currents or something. Yeah, we're giving just people like anxiety. A one, like Family Circus at just a one. <laughs> One bubble, a, 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 one panel, a, a, one panel uh, cartoon. My degree of admiration for your work is a reflection of my own enthusiasm for it. Mm-hmm. Your sketch is visually appealing, yeah, and composed material is both interesting and informative. Despite this, you are apparently concerned about moving in a direction that may induce anxiety. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I agree that you will be able to deal with this situation quickly and effectively. It's spam comments that come to the, the website. So when I clean them that out, it couldn't have been human. I, Skynet. Yeah, it's got to be an AI generated thing. Mm-hmm. I would imagine. I think the days of having pools of you know fourth world country people posting all day long is probably yeah. over. That's been replaced with AI, and that's a problem because those and people, those people aren't going to live. They, they made money doing that, and not a lot, but at least something to irritate me. And now they have to mine they, lithium. They couldn't have come up with this though. For us to have Teslas. Yeah. Bring well, no. Yes. You have to. You're a Tesla. <laughs> I'm definitely not a Tesla. <laughs> be a, yeah. Yeah. I'd be a weird ass South African. South African. <laughs> He's got to take his daily dose of cat. That's because I'm. He micro doses his cat. But you. That does not make any sense at all. I don't think he makes any sense at all other than he's an idiot savant mm-hmm. autistic dude mm-hmm. well it served him well at least he has navigated the waters efficiently and effectively right on not a, he's obviously green, very but. intelligent he's just batshit crazy too which a lot of super intelligent people end up being batshit crazy kind of goes with the territory right that's why i'm gonna live yeah, forever the, i'm the, done well, shit. at least four be, hours of sleep a day at least doesn't be entertainingly help. Crazy, yeah, you know, non harmful, crazy. So, uh, did we talk crazy. about the made the made bike show last week? I don't think we did. Don't don't think it was in did. the notes, but I don't think we talked about it. You guys remember the North American hand built mm-hmm. bike show? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which kind of Ellis bikes? Yeah, uh, yeah, and a lot of great builders, but it kind of petered out during the pandemic and never got back up to speed. Okay. And uh, made is kind of the replacement for it. And I think smartly, because uh, NABs used to go to different cities, and I think logistics of running it in Charlotte and Denver and <laughs> Austin and, and Portland and Seattle or whatever was a challenge. This one, I think, is going to be kind of permanently in Portland, Oregon. Hmm. And the group that's running it, it, they're deep in the bike industry on the PR side. So hopefully they can keep it going. But it's basically NABs by another name. Com- coming up on August 23rd, if it's not too late to get out there. And the first one Portland. of the builders, Acoustic Cycles. Yeah, if you ever were thinking you wanted to grab that name, too late. Yeah, no. <laughs> what about electric bikes? Did somebody have that one yet? I'm going to guess maybe. I will guess so. <laughs> um, yeah, or, they, but they've do got, they have electric bike? They've got quite a, uh, quite a list of uh, good builders oh. and stuff. And their website, I don't know, are you into usability on your 
website stuff at all? No. It's got the little circle that follows you all over the place. Have you seen these? No. It's pretty common now, I think, on new sites that are trying to be um, super usable. Mm. Because there's the cursor right where your mouse is, and it's a circle, and as you move around, that thing follows you. It's, like, irritating. Mm. But, um, yeah, I don't know how many exhibitors they actually have, but a lot. Uh, hundred, hundreds. Mm. So if you're in, if you're in the area for sure, or I'm checking out this. Friend. I'd like to go out there. Maybe on next, my birthday. Maybe next year, August twenty third. Be a good birthday present for Tony. Mm. Take a trip to Portland. Go see some. I, have, I would really like to go to Portland. I've see not, some fancy bikes. I've been to Seattle a few times, but not Portland. Yeah, last time I was in Portland, I was probably seventeen or something. Right. So that doesn't even count. Uh, yeah. That, otherwise, uh, yeah, not much stuff coming up yet that I've got on the list. Uh, got your Gnome Fest single speed, Wisconsin. Okay. Not sure how that's going to pan out, actually. Have to talk to the powers that be mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and see if that's going to be a Gomez free zone. <laughs> um, wow, one of these bikes looks insane. For the handmade thing? Yeah, yeah. It's like a like a damn hammock. Yeah, dang, dang yeah. old, got a dang old hammock as your trailer. That looks like the trailer. Yeah. Oh, I like it. A hammock trailer. What's that? Oh, yeah, sure. We'll we'll get to that in a second. I have a um, Carol's given us cues. She's the director or producer. Director, uh, promoter, producer. I think it's this weekend or next. It's coming up. Uh, when is Center Street? Seventeenth. Yeah, no, I Center Street know that, Festival. Since it's, it's a, since I could. It'll be right down the block from Tony Burger. Like I could throw a brick from my house two there. Weeks. Two weeks. Oh, they always have a lot of good 17th. music. There's always a good punk rock stage. Yep, yep. Don't forget Uptowner, the Uptowner, cart race. Uptowner. Oh, yeah. 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 Art cart, carts. Art carts. Art cart race. Yeah. Uptowner's Uptowner's got a good lineup. Mm. Uh, Wonder if anyone's going to grab companies. Uh, and what do you call it? Uh, Quarters always has a good punk. The good, the good yeah, punk they do. They do have a good show. Yep, yep. Billy yeah. Dreamer always seems to end up playing, so... Let's say Saturday. Always targeting yeah. the Billy Dreamer show. Is that a Saturday or is Saturday, that a Sunday? Saturday. 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 S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y. D-A-Y. Night. Right on. Did you guys, uh, did you ever ride a mini velo bike of any kind? No. You know, like 20 inch. They're not like BMX bikes. They're like for full size people. I mean, they I've, have mini I've ridden 20 inch wheels. I've ridden like. Folding bikes and stuff that have twenty inch wheels that, yeah, but is, not like mean like a bike Friday. Yeah, look at the Soma Rufus. It's uh, it's I got a link in the uh, show I notes. Forgot to it's, click on it, but yeah, it's 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 a it's a thing. It's uh, making a thing. It's a yeah, thing. It's mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. like make a bike that rides like a full size bike but has twenty inch wheels. Yeah. So There's okay. one parked under Mitchell. Well, yeah, lot. that's kind of how my Trek, my uh, Huber build, is not that. The, oh, As the such. one you the one you rode today. Yeah. yeah, like like when you were mentioning how like the uh how my my saddle is kind of honk like that. It's like no, just to give it that little extra air, like little more but, height, I mean, little I, more height, so I can be up just enough. And with those, the uh, like not with the BMX ish bars, right? The I've mini the profile. mini velo makes sense in a lot of reasons though. Twenty inch wheels, as I've said before in the podcast, are virtually indestructible. That is true. Um, you just make a taller frame. There, I, I've known a number of people that have had twenty-inch wheeled touring bikes that say, "If you close your eyes, it's a regular bike. Sure. You yeah. will not notice the fact that you're on a twenty-inch." I think that's definitely the idea. Of this one, it's not. Yeah, uh, it's, it's not a BMX bike. It's not a no, cruiser no. Right, it's right. a it's a road yeah. bike. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, that, that's cool. Have you seen JK's seat position? I have not. We're not I'm very I'm intrigued. Look, the, the only other person I ever knew that yeah, rode it's, like it's, that was the captain in, in Decorah. Yeah, he rides his saddle like, like that okay, for some reason. See, normally seat, yeah. But if you do that, then you, this part just kind of lifts you up. You're, and, you're and you, there up and then just you slide down there. No. I just use <laughs> yeah, I'd butt. be sliding up that thing by the side of it. What do you do? Squeeze it with your butt cheeks? Uh, tailbone. It's going to rest my... You're well, a weird freaking rider, man. Yeah, I guess you could, I could, if the seat is, if it's narrow enough, I could see you're doing that. Yeah, doing, it's not doing, like I'm doing, sitting on a damn tractor. Put a little Velcro shit. on my ass before I sit on here, just so it sticks there now. <laughs> it's good stuff. It seems like it's working. Just, yeah. I don't feel like I have to explain my art to you. 
<laughs> Definitely do not. I'm very excited to listen to this podcast, though, because it's weird. And then uh, I, this, this one was for Tony. Did you look at the uh, Gauch? Is it G G O U A C H? The bat. It's like a rebuildable battery. Yes, and that is there. There's a couple other places that are talking about doing that too. But that makes total sense. Little bigger, but yeah. you can remove and reapply cells. Yeah, very little bit bigger. Right. I think. I mean, you, if you look at the site, you'll see it's it's basically like where you would fill it in with epoxy anyway right. to it's build just, your pack. It, yep. it, this is what it fills in with. And you can, you know, buy free cells. You know what I mean? Buy, uh, buy for free. I mean, that, yeah, that, you know what I mean? Buy for free. Single cells, not a full battery pack. And, and Yeah, currently yeah. 18 650s. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they'll make it. They'll scale it. Well, what, so. And I like 18 650s. I was talking to um, Schlebowski. He's talking about. Um, electrifying a bike for his wife uh a mountain bike and was asking about the cyc system and i most of the ones i see are people are either doing 48 or 52 volts on them and this thing has a really small frame i'm like i i he kind of pointed it out i forgot that they actually the controller will do 36 volts too there you go so you can make a 36 volt pack with the same capacity as a 52 volt pack but it's a lot smaller because it uses a ton less cells All right so, and I don't, I don't think, I mean, I'm not convinced that everybody needs a 52 volt system. I don't, I mean, 48 was plenty for me. Well, after having ridden the 36 volt on the Omnium for yeah, you know, several weeks now, it, I, I'm not looking for more power and basically. That, that cargo bike is also the same thing. 500 watt, 36 volt, you know, you can, you can. Get some lawn, some longevity mileage wise out of it. It's yeah. kind of a cool idea. Yeah, because you're you're trading speed for uh, distance. Good stuff. All right, everybody. I'm going the distance. Going go going I'm the going distance for speed. Oh, here's one last one. Shh. I've been so I get all these product announcements, and it's like we have new colors for our grips. We have an extra. <laughs> Are they orange? Doesn't matter. I we do. have three inches. This is a new product. We have three inches longer on our locks this year. Easy. You no. Know, well, sure. okay, okay. But Spur Cycle, as we all know, makes some of the best bells in the world, right? Ding! Can, so they're making mirrors now. Uh oh. And I thought, well, if they make them well, I guess that's a good thing. And they you look, know they're going to. Well, they out. look pretty decent. They got a <laughs> lifetime guarantee, so they can't be that. I know. I I follow your logic, but. I, I've also gone followed logic like that, and it sometimes bites. Uh, only Molly <laughs> gets a spur cycle. Well, you don't get one. Oh, I got. I bought her that bell. I can't justify it for myself. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, like, not dis I'm not dismissing them. They're like sixty nine bucks for the bell now. And we literally, I I got it for her for either her birthday or Mother's Day, and I didn't tell her, and I put it on the bike, and we were riding to work together, and she's like. As we're leaving, we always would ding each other because I was going one way, and she was going the other, and she looks down, and she's like. You got me a new bell. And then she rang it and she's like, Oh my God. Ding. I'm like, Serious. Yeah. Sustain. I'm like, I'm like, that's like one of the I said, yes, Molly, I got you a very fancy bell. Symbionts. Just like uh that 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 sustain is it's like a minute. Yeah, it does ring for a long it's time. It's like King Diamond. Ah! Plus, plus they have some new <laughs> Let me help you one of your chair, Grandma. What was it like to hear? Yeah, they've got some new colors if you're looking for someone, with, including ones with uh, fancy colors on them. Nice. Yep. So anyway, so that's their second. Oh, they I forgot they had water bottles before that looked like ketchup bottles and mustard bottles. <laughs> they've always had those, though. But anyway, They're yeah, goofballs. Cool. They're goofballs. Right on. All right. Uh, I guess we'll be here next week again. Uh, supposedly. I think there's stuff happening between now and then, so. Supposedly, it, if you're uh, still watching the Olympics, track is still going on. So watch yeah, break your, dancing, watch break, your track no, stuff. It's, breaking. It's called Never. break. It's called breaking. I took, I took, I took breaking. Break, I took break dancing breaking. classes at the Y. It's because you're American. WCA as a child. You should have so. been taking breaking classes. Yeah, that you could be American. in the Olympics. It was in the seven eyes, man. Or like, the, or like the guy, the Turkish or dude that's doing the shooting 80s. with his hand in his pocket. And, yeah, he, uh, well, the, the dude, Chinese lady too. That guy gave off the biggest Steve Albini vibes. Every yeah, time he did. I see, every oh, time I look at him, I'm just going, like Steve oh, like, oh, I'm seeing a Steve Albini just going. 
hand in pocket. And you know, and you, you got to giving a since, high five. since I watched so much news on it, you got to really feel bad for the uh, French guy whose penis cost him <laughs> the high jump or the uh, pole vault. Was he showing the shank? I mean, I couldn't tell whether it was. It's on a purpose. really sad situation. I feel bad for the guy. Should have just taped it back. Right? I don't <laughs> talk to <laughs> cut yeah. it off. I don't know. Haven't you man. watched enough Silence of the Lambs? You do the tuck, and then you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. It was a pretty entertaining set of videos. It's <laughs> kind of sad Poor that guy. that would cost him a, a, anything. Oh, I think should, it's going to gain him a lot make of things him money. too, though. Well, it should be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure he'll be fine yeah. in his next career. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. You mean <laughs> accountant? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Later on. Goodbye to you.